Hello, today we are going to learn about the drill press and the different drilling operations that you can perform on this machine. A few things that you need to know about the drill press is the different drill bits that can be used. First, and probably the most often used, is the brad point drill bit. Next is a twist bit. The next one is a countersink, which is a two-part bit where this portion of the bit can be adjusted. And then the last one that will drill a larger hole is the Forstner bit, known as a multi-spur Forstner bit. Now some different operations with the machine. You have a light that you can use that you can operate from right here. You also have a laser that you can operate that will show your center point of your line. But one of the big things that you want to make sure whenever you are going to do a drilling operation is that you go through and you lay out with a combination square like you learned earlier with the joiner. That you take a combination square and you draw intersecting lines as to where I want to drill my holes. Some other features about the drill press is there is a yellow rectangular box at the base of the machine that is the safety zone in which you are the only one that is in that zone. Then you have the handle right here that you will bring it down so that you can drill your hole. And one of the things that you always want to make sure that is secure when you are using the machine is the belt guard and you want to make sure that it is all the way down because if it is not and a belt comes loose you're going to get tattooed right here in the forehead. Now when you get ready to operate and to use the drill press this is the chuck and then as I turn it the jaws of the chuck will come out for a smaller bit and then if I turn it back the other way the jaws of the chuck will go in for a larger drill bit. Now when you do this, you're going to take your drill bit, you're going to open up the jaws of the chuck so that you can put your drill bit in, and then by hand you are going to tighten it up. Then you will take the chuck key, you will put it into the chuck, holes are right here, and then you will put it in and you will twist away from yourself to tighten it. This is the chuck key, and these or Chuck's keys. Now when you are going to go through and drill something, you are going to make sure that you line up the point of your bit with the intersecting line that you drew. And so now, if you are using a drill bit, make sure that they're nice and sharp. If you need to use coolant, you would use coolant. But what we're going to do is, is we're going to first bring it down and line up our bit with our intersecting line. Once we have that set, now we can get it and we can get it all set up to run the machine. Always make sure that you wear your safety glasses when operating the machine. And then when you are ready to go and you have all of your alignment done, you will turn on the machine and then you will begin to drill. And when you drill, go in a small amount let it come back up to bring the chips out to cool it off. Drill in a little bit more, allow the chips to come out, and then when you know that you are about to drill all the way through, ease up on your feed pressure so that you do not have the fibers tearing on the back side of the board when you finish drilling your hole. Always be sure when you are drilling on the drill press that you have a nice, solid, piece of wood so that when you are drilling there are no holes. If you were to drill into this hole with a smaller bit then the wood is going to all the fibers will break out on the back side of the board. And then when you drill through you won't have any splintering of your material. If you are going to drill with a larger drill bit you are going to again take the chuck key not Chuck's keys, and you are going to put it in the drill press, 
and you are going to loosen it. Really, you are. Loosen it by twisting back towards yourself, and it will loosen the bit up so that you can finish and take this bit out. Now, if I am going to use a bit that is at least one inch or larger, I need to first adjust the jaws of the chuck, get my drill bit set in there, tighten by hand, set my chuck key, tighten it up, and then now I am going to go through and get this all set up. And one of the things too that you can do is, is you can set your depth gauge so that you don't have to move the handle so far. I can take my depth gauge, move that up so it's going to hold it in position, and then I could adjust this one because I only want to go halfway through my material. So if I take it and I know where my halfway point is on my material, I can take it, set my depth gauge, and then that is how far the machine is going to drill to. Whenever you have something that is more than an inch, you want to make sure that you clamp it. And so we are going to take a C clamp and we are going to put it into place. Now that we have our C clamp in place, one of the things to always remember is, is to have a second piece of wood on top so that you don't make an impression into your material by tightening it. So get this all set up. We have everything in alignment. And so now we will be all ready to drill the material. We have our depth gauge set so that we know exactly how deep we're going to be going. And so now I can turn it on and I can begin the drilling process in a small amount, let it come out so that we keep our drill bit cool. Harder the material, the hotter the drill bit's going to get. And then when I have reached my depth, I can stop and turn the machine off. One thing to always remember on the drill press is, is if you are drilling a series of holes, your drill bit is going to get very hot. So be aware of that when you go to loosen it up and to take it out and to clean everything up and put it away. Remember when you are all done, loosen up your C-clamp so that you can get it put away after you fight with it a little bit. Take your extra piece of wood, put it back into the garbage. You have your material with your hole drilled, but the one last thing that you want to remember is, is don't use your hand when you clean this off. We can let our bit drill, our drill bit, cool for a minute. And what we can do is, is go over and get a bench top brush, and then that is how we will clean this area. Don't get into the habit of using your hand because you can get a splinter. A real simple way is to bring a garbage can over, sweep it on into the garbage can, then we'll keep our area nice and clean and safe. By that time, your drill bit will be all cooled off and you can take it out and put it away. And that is a safe way to operate your drill press.